So I noticed this zone a couple months ago. You have schistose bedrock here exposed in the side of the road. And this continues up all the way here. There's a creek here. We exposed this a couple months ago and you can see the mineralization there. It's a 10 centimeter wide iron sulfide vein. A little bit more stringer mineralization throughout there and all the way up through this creek. And uh, you can find little samples throughout here which show iron sulfides such as this. And this. And occasionally you'll find some mineralized quartz in there. So these don't have huge values. We did uh, run an analysis on this and there was a bit of copper, a bit of silver, and a minute amount of gold. So what we want to do is line up this orientation of the schists and bedrock and this vein right here. And we are going to take a look and see if there's anything in line with this way up. So we've got our, our schist body and the orientation lined up and it's right by just the number two. There's schist exposed all along the bank, but this is where the larger veining is. So we'll take a look up there and see if we can find anything. So here's some samples that uh, we just pulled out of the ditch here. Here's a couple just broken off that vein, which is up there, small little vein. So this is obviously the same vein structure. Quite a bit of disseminated iron sulfides, pretty evenly disseminated throughout the schist. And then you have little areas like this where it's solid iron sulfides, like this. So we're finding lots of samples along the same orientation, same mineralization, solid hunks of iron pyrite. There's quite a few of these. These could obviously be transported, but they could also not. There's no bedrock or anything exposed on this road, but there is, in the same orientation, quite a few of these samples. So, good indication that the vein structure continues.